We need to talk about OEM Windows keys. And the reason I'm making this is because every time I recommend who keys, I see a few comments that are like scared. They're like, what are these? Are these going to get my Windows uh, account banned? What happens if I use these? Is this going to brick my computer? So I think a lot of people don't understand what an OEM key is, how it works, and whether or not you should use it. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, it's sponsored by WhoKeys because I was going to make this video anyway, and I messaged them and said, hey, this is a good one to sponsor. Would you want to do this one too? And they said, of course. A long time ago, way back in the old tech syndicate days, uh, we would get these offers from, this is before even WhoKeys was around, but we would get offers from other websites that sold CD keys and stuff like that. And they'd say, hey, you want to do some specials with some CD keys and stuff like that? And it was always like this weird thing where like, I don't know if we should recommend these or not. You know, normally you send people over to Microsoft and tell them to buy the $200 serial number. Uh, you know, what if these serial numbers don't work? There's always like all these weird questions that I would ask when it was, comes to like presenting this as a sponsor. But then as soon as, you know, it came time for me to upgrade or for me to buy a serial number for Windows, I would go and buy one from one of these websites. That's how I've always done it because they're like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, you know, somewhere in that range, depending on whatever deals you, you get. And right now with WhoKeys, I'll show you the deals that we have right now. You can come over here to WhoKeys. They've got all kinds of stuff you can browse through, uh, but you can get Windows 10 Pro. 22.55. Now nah, let's let's go ahead and add this to our cart. So after it's in there, oh, we got two different things in there. Let's go ahead and proceed to checkout. And if we use, oh, we got two of those. Just do one. There we go. If we use the coupon code TS25, all caps there. Hit apply. It's going to give us 25% off. That brought the price down to 16.91. So that's the price that we pay here for the OEM key. If you go over to Microsoft's store, there you go. And we get the same key, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. It's $199. How can it be the same? Well, it unlocks the entire Windows experience. So you can you know, download all the updates, including the ones that are not available without a key. You can completely unlock your desktop environment so that you can personalize it. Um, it basically unlocks all the features in the operating system. Both of the keys do that. The one for $16 and something and the one for $200 are essentially the same when it comes to that. But one's a retail key and one's an OEM key. So what is the difference there? Well, OEM keys were designed to be bundled with hardware and then sold to you. And, and essentially when you buy an OEM key, you become your own hardware vendor. You are the manufacturer. Like if you buy like a Dell computer or a Lenovo or something like that, they're going to come with an OEM key. Now that OEM key, it's tied to the hardware and Microsoft does not offer any sort of like tech support or anything like that. If you want tech support, you need to call Lenovo or Dell or whoever you bought the, the computer from and say like, hey, I don't, I can't find my C drive anymore. They get a cheap, cheap, cheap CD key. They put it on the device for you and then they provide the tech support. Well, you're gonna be providing your own tech support and then you get that OEM key. It's going to be locked to your motherboard. So what happens is that you can change your graphics card, you can change your CPU, but if you change your motherboard, that may make your copy of Windows become inactive. Now that's the difference between this and a retail key. If you have a retail key, you can move to a new system multiple different times. You, as long as you only have one system active at a time, it's totally fine. So that's the main difference. Now, $200 for the ability to move to multiple different systems. Let's do a little bit of math here and see how many different systems you'll have to move to before it becomes cheaper to get the retail CD key. All right, so here we go. We got uh, $199.99 divided by, what is it, $16 and what? $16.91. All right, divided by $16.91. All right, 11, let's just call it, let's round up to 12. So you will have to buy 12 CD keys. That means you're gonna have to move to 12 different computers. So the only other benefit I can see here is that Microsoft will give you support if you buy their retail key. But I, I don't think most of the people watching this are gonna be calling Microsoft for support on their Windows. I mean, maybe you will. Maybe you call up and be like, hey, my OneDrive is on fire and I can't find my files. I don't know where they are. I don't know anyone who's ever used Microsoft tech support. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know how you work. But I think most of the people who watch this channel and similar channels are the type who if something goes wrong with their computer, they start to tinker and try to fix it themselves. You know, we are not our aunts, uncles and relatives whose computers we all just fixed during the, the holidays, or maybe we're gonna fix them again during Christmas, maybe you fixed them at Thanksgiving, I don't know. So we are not them. 
we are more hands-on. Maybe maybe you are them and you're watching. Hey, how's it going? Uh, make sure you get your, your nerdy uh, friend something cool uh, from epicpants.com. We've got a 50% off sale with the coupon code WILD. I think a lot of us will go onto forums and ask questions and be like, hey, my computer's running a little slow. What's going on? My SSD is supposed to be running twice as fast. What's going on? Why is this happening? Is it my operating system? You know, we'll start asking those kind of questions because a lot of times it's not just tied to your operating system. There's all kinds of things going on. Now, for a lot of the people in the comments who are like, oh, you're, you're pushing these CD keys and stuff like that, you know what, I bet 90% of those people who are complaining about this, though, who are being like the elitist snobs about it, I, I bet money they did not go and buy a $200 key from Microsoft. They've probably used some KMS activator. And that's the other thing for a lot of people who are like, just hack your copy of Windows. You know what, if you're comfortable going onto sketchy websites and downloading weird hacks and doing things that are nefarious and weird with your operating system, the thing that, you know, like, is on your computer and has you've got all your stuff on there then fine you go do that you do you i am not messing around with that stuff i know that you can do virus scans and make sure that it's safe but i don't trust it you know i do important things on my computer i work i make music i i do the, you know i open up my bank account and stuff like that on my computer i just don't want to chance anything it is so much safer to grab an OEM key from WhoKeys than it is to go through some sketchy website nonsense and download a crack to hack your copy of Windows. Maybe if you're testing something on a VM and it's locked down, maybe then you can mess around with this stuff. But I'm not putting that on my main computer. I'm not putting that on my laptop. Not happening. And that's just how it is. So. Uh, are these keys safe? Yes, they're totally safe. They're not going to lock down your account. You know, Microsoft is not going to lock you out of anything. They're, you know, they're not going to get your Microsoft account banned or anything like that. Someone was mentioning that. It's like, is this, this going to get my account banned? No, it will not ban your account. The worst thing possible that could happen is you can get a key and then have it not work. So far, I've purchased eight. I believe this will be number nine key that I've purchased from WhoKeys myself. And I don't tell them when I purchase. You know, like, there's been a couple times where they've been like, hey, we'll reimburse you if you purchase one live on the on the you know while you're doing your show but otherwise i've done a bunch by myself and i've even purchased a copy of office from them by myself now one time i had it deactivate when i uh, upgraded my motherboard another time i upgraded my motherboard and it did not but it was like similar model so maybe it was just like i don't know the one time that it deactivated i messaged two keys and said hey it deactivated and they said well it's been a lot of you know many 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 months since you last purchased it so we can't give you a new key. Now, if this happens like immediately, they will give you, a, give you a new key. But months and months and months later, what they do is they just give you a much bigger discount. And that discount might change. I don't know. I forgot what it was, but it was a pretty good discount. They were, they were just, and I didn't tell them who I was. That was the main thing. I went through their normal customer service. So if I talk to you at Hookies there, hey, how you doing? Thanks very much for the discount. But what I in actually ended up doing was calling Microsoft and complaining like, hey, my motherboard went bad, I replaced it, and they actually reactivated my OEM key. So that was really cool. That's not indicative of what will happen every time. And if you're upgrading to a, a big fancy new motherboard, that may or may not happen, but it worked for me calling them up and actually talking to someone, they actually reactivated my key. And the, the other thing I wanna mention is kind of weird, but it's like a principle thing. I don't like the fact that other system builders get to get these keys for like ridiculously low prices. I think that the consumer should also be able to get things for that price and just say like, you know what? I don't want the Microsoft tech support. I just, and you know, it would be so cool if you could get one straight from Microsoft. Just like, I don't want the tech support and stuff like that. I don't need any of that. I don't want to pay $200 for my key. Of course, Microsoft wants $200. So, you know, I don't like the fact that the consumers and the end users have to pay so much more, especially when we build our own computers and stuff like that. And we don't really need the tech support and stuff like that. So that's another reason why I always go and buy the less expensive keys myself. So if it's something that I've always done myself, I really have no problem whatsoever talking about it and having them be a sponsor. It's just the way I get my, my keys and then I do my own tech support. We are our own builders. We are our own vendors and we're our own tech support. And that's why I use OEM keys. All right, let's go through the rest of the advertisement here. I know this is a, a bit of a lot, but they also have Windows Home. So you can grab the, the key for the version of Windows that's on your computer that you need to activate. If you're getting it new, I highly recommend that you stick with Pro. Now we also have uh, Windows 11. You can get that here. Windows 10 will unlock 11, I believe, at this point, but you need to double check and make sure that that's still the case because that may change. So just Google and make sure that Windows 10 keys will work with Windows 11. I also have several different versions of Microsoft Office. 
This is also an OEM key, so it is tied to your hardware, just so you know. But it's a hell of a lot you know, cheaper than buying it retail. A lot of times when your keys stop working for these, Microsoft is going to try to push you to Office 365. If you want to have your, your version of Office that's offline and not connected to Microsoft and not tied to a monthly fee, you need to grab one of these. And again, the coupon code TS25 will help you get that 25% off. All right, when it comes time to activate your key, just click on your username up here and then click on user center underneath that right there. And that'll bring you here. Click on right in the middle of the screen, my purchased orders and then you can scroll down and see your different purchased orders click on view keys and codes all right down here you scroll down you'll see there's your key code right in the middle of the page go ahead and copy that press your start button and type activate and you'll see your activation settings click on that and then right in the middle click on change product key hit yes paste it in there and then hit next and you will be activated there you have it i'm going to continue to do um, these sponsorships on tech syndicate because i think that we all should have the good low prices and I think it's fine that we are using OEM keys. Now you know the difference in a retail and an OEM key. I hope this puts a lot of the nonsense to sleep in the comments and uh, you know if you still want to uh, pay $200 for that brand new key that you can move between different computers by all means. So hopefully this helped you out. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to also check out my new album of chip tunes and DOS style MIDI stuff. That link is going to be in the description. I'll see you next time.